Um, I started being a member just before my son was born. So back in 2009, I was um, a member and very, very pregnant going to the swimming pool. Well, it's especially in the early days, um, as a young mum not really knowing how to survive a baby, let alone training for the Olympics, the YMCA was really great with the occasional care and the creche enabled me to have the clear headspace to be able to go to the gym and use the pool. And it's such a supportive environment. It was really lovely to come here, be able to um, put my son in the crash and know that he was fine, know that he was in the same centre, I didn't have to leave the building. He was in there and I could just go and use the gym, use the pool. I knew they'd come and get me if something went wrong or he was unhappy. And to start with, that was the way that I could kickstart my Olympic training. And if it wasn't for that, I don't know if I would have been able to make that initial leap of leaving him behind whilst I trained. I was really anxious about that. So it gave me an environment that was very supportive, really used to dealing with families and young mums. And um, there was no judgment of what I was doing or how, what the weights I was lifting were or how many hours or minutes I was putting on a bike. It was just, it's a nice friendly environment and that really encouraged me to keep going. I think we'll win a gold medal. <laughs> yeah, but genuinely I do because this um, journey, for want of a better word, of the last four years has been insane. It's the toughest, this is my third Olympics and it's the toughest Olympic cycle I've ever done and I think I've learnt the most when, when I set out for it. I didn't want to learn anything new, I just wanted to be the same person, do the same thing and not change, just just go through the motions and be the athlete I was in 2008 at Beijing. But of course, that's never going to work. You're never going to have the same story twice. And I think as an athlete and a person and a mum and a wife and a friend, I feel so much more stable and consistent about who I am and the sort of athlete I can be and the pressures I can stand. So going into this Olympics with Natalie Cook, I think we're in a really good position to push around some of the younger teams and to really threaten some of the more stable teams and hopefully end up there on the podium with a gold medal. <laughs>